Hopeless Douglas by David Melling. One spring morning, a big yawn came from the back of a deep, dark cave. It was a young brown bear and his name was Douglas. I need a hug, said Douglas. So he wriggled out of his pyjamas, brushed his hair, put on a scarf and went to look for one. My best hug's a big, thought Douglas. So he went up to the biggest thing he could find, wrapped his arms all the way round and gave it a squeeze. It didn't quite feel right. Oh, grunted Douglas, it's a bit too heavy. Oof. My best hugs are tall, thought Douglas. So he went up to the tallest thing he could find. He hugged the bottom, he hugged around the middle and he hugged as high as he could reach. But it was all wrong and it had splinters. Ouch! My best hugs are comfy, thought Douglas, and he trotted towards a cosy looking bush. He cuddled the bush, but something felt very odd. The leaves quivered and trembled and ran away. Give us a hug, cried Douglas. No, barred the sheep, we're too busy. He scooped up armfuls anyway and tried to cuddle them gently, but they kicked and squirmed and didn't like it at all. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug? He said. If I want a hug, said Wise Owl, I sit in my tree and... Let me try, whooped Douglas, and he scrambled up next to the owl, but he soon found himself in a clumsy muddle. To woo, to wit, said the owl crossly. I only wanted a hug, sniffed Douglas. Perhaps there's one down here. He felt something long-eared and rabbity and gave it a tug. Douglas could tell the rabbit didn't want a hug. He sniffed again and without thinking wiped his nose on the fluffy end. Excuse me, shouted the rabbit, put me down. But I need a hug, said Douglas, and I can't find one anywhere. Oh, I see, said the rabbit kindly. Come with me. She took Douglas by the paw and led him round and about. At last they came to a deep, dark cave where a sleepy someone was just waking up. Yawn! Douglas peeped inside. He had the funniest feeling that he knew the someone very well. Hug? asked Douglas. And he ran as fast as he could towards his mum. Come to think of it, my best hugs are from someone I love, said Douglas. And he snuggled into the biggest, warmest arms he knew.